Lewis, what are you doing? That's gonna hurt you. Don't eat that. Look at that meal on wheels. Now that will kill you. So what's the deal with with February? What's going on with that? So are you watching celebrity rehab and stuff and sex? <laughs> you know what? I actually have a job, so I don't have time to sit there and watch celebrity, celebrity rehab. rehab. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know, when we talked to Nikki Six a while back, he said that, uh, yeah, he definitely needed to have his heart kick-started a time or two. I believe that's going to be the same story we hear from Nader DePriest from London. Uh, more on Nader as we call his hotel here right now in Hollywood, California. Hello. Hello, Nader DePriest, London. This is he. My favorite. And it ain't about riding horses, I'll tell you that. How, how you doing, man? It's <clears throat> chaos out here in Columbus, Georgia, bro. Sometimes they bite onto the condom without you knowing. Did you know that? All right, well, this one, uh, we're breaking it in again. Uh, last time we did this was in the uh, movie The Metal Years. And we really didn't get to press this for some reason. The record company was like, oh, uh, we're just not going to accept that song right now because we're going to be dealing with some license. <sighs> Uh, in London, the band on the Sunset's trip, you're talking about metal, everybody came through there. Yeah, everyone got a gig here. <laughs> we were kind of like that whore that everybody knew, but nobody wanted to get in bed with. <laughs> <laughs> People didn't understand those high notes, and the screams, and the, and the long holes, and the changing of your voice. Back then, and, and I want to go back to another guy who had to be jump started. I think they wrote a song about it, Nikki Six. Just London has been around for a while, and uh, when Nikki went to do Motley, Slash did a short stint. Steven Adler, the Izzy Stratton, you know, from GNR. The crazy part about it is that, you know, we were finding all these great young players. <clears throat> I, uh, I hear he says something about you in the book. He does. Oh. I definitely got to go buy the book now. <laughs> I'm like listening to this shit. Remember that. When they say that, when they say, trust me, get ready for the tube of KY and play it like a hair. Trust me. All right? That's what the record business means. Trust me. Don't worry. I won't shit in your mouth. Don't worry about it. Uh, are, are you still that guy? As far as Nader, Dupree's dark man kind of guy, yeah. But as far as Nader, the just regular dude, he's come down quite a bit. Therapy has been good. Ah. <laughs> Chunks of meat here with hominy. It's very high in protein. It gives you a hard on. It's really good. So anyway. Because it don't feel as good. Do you, do you think because it was a tough time for you where... I mean, you know, like, like you said, bro, um, you know, maybe you are a, a, a reason why the band is slowed down. Uh, we've been rehearsing that list of songs. Uh, the songs that you emailed us. Yeah. Just me, Lizzie, and Phil have just been rehearsing the hell out of those songs. Me well, and I, I butted heads already once about it. Yeah, we were, we, we, we're not being remembered, put it this way. There's nobody from, from any of the bands contacting me saying, hey, dude, how about if we jam? How about if we get... I don't expect them to. I'll, I'll talk to Lizzie. I'll call him right now because I'm supposed to see him tonight. But I'll, I'll call Lizzie right now. Look, I'll, it's, I'll it's, do my best, guys. You, you know, know dude, me, but let it's... Let me work, it's, let me work it, on it. I'll do my best. What do, you know, listen, I don't see technically what my can't be done. You well, know? I mean, we don't want to ask permission. If anything, it's a launching pad for them. That's what it was. It was a trampoline to the next level. 